Now we'll see about phonetics. So now we are into the phonetics section. So here left side of the pane you can see what are the topics that are covered under each level. That is from level A1 to C2. Uh, but uh, from the, uh, for the in the right side of the pane you can see all the sections here. So we can go through all these sections one by one. So first let us go to A1 here. So these are the topics that are covered under A1 here. So starting from introduction to phonetics, ending with monosyllabic word 6. So first let us see introduction to phonetics. So we all know that this is an intro screen of this. Phonetics. Alphabet in English. There are 26 letters in English alphabet. Click each letter to listen to its pronunciation. So here we can click on the each letter to listen to its particular pronunciation of the letter. Q E G I K so like this we can listen to the letter by clicking on that button. U So this is the phonetic table we have here. So in phonetic table we will be having all sounds, diphthongs, unconsonant sounds. So under this we have instruction that mouse over on symbols for pronunciation. So ah. So like this we can listen to the particular pronunciation of the symbol. So even we can listen to the sample words when we click on the particular symbol like this. Biscuit. Kite. Quick. A. Train. Game. Wait. So like this so we can even listen to the words also. So this is about the phonetic table. So like this we will be having a number of uh, units that is covered under this lesson. Introduction to phonetics. So now let us see the monosyllabic words. As we all know that syllable is a vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants. In English, there are many words wherein the entire word itself is only of one syllable. Today, let us understand such words and read out few examples. Let's take an example of single syllable word. We also call it as monosyllable. To start with, say, act. Act is a one syllable word. The entire word is only one syllable that is act. Act. And because it is one syllable, the stress is obviously on the entire word. Take few more examples. Add. Add. Age. Age. Just one syllable this is. Age. Aid. Aid. Aim. Aim. Now this is another good example where we can see the difference between American English and British English. Words ending with consonant er sound or we otherwise say r sound. This is very prominent sound in American English but when it comes to British English all the word endings with sound r, er, er remains silent that is r remains silent. Take an example air air R sound is not there and it is pronounced as air, 
air. Apt. So like this, so we'll be having a number of words that under monosyllabic words here. So likewise, we'll be having number of units also here. So this is about A1 section. Now let us move on to the A2. So here we can see these are the units that are covered under A2 section. The first one is consonant sounds and so under that we will be having disyllabic words. So first let us see the consonant sounds here. Voiceless consonant sh, sh sound and voiced consonant zh zh sound. Sh as in show, mention, cash. Zh as in usual, occasion, pleasure. Sh sound at the beginning of the word as in shock, show. Shout, chiffon, sure, chef, shake, shipment, shade, shiver. Sh sound in the middle of the word as in mission, pressure, session, patience, option, professional. Special, social, negotiate, anxious. Sh sound at the end of the word as in finish, mustache, polish, relish, crash, crash, wish, lavish. So, English. like this, we'll be having a Crash. consonant sounds here in this section. Come. And uh, some of the consonants are covered in this section as a like part one. And uh, some of, uh, another consonant sounds will be covered in the next coming sections. Like That is like in, uh, uh, the, now it is in level A2. Consider this as a part one. In the next coming sections like B1, B2, C1 and C2 will be having another consonant sounds. Uh, detailed, exp uh, detailed uh, uh, there will be a detailed explanation about this. Uh, now let us see uh, some of the activities based on these uh, consonant sounds. Identify the words that are pronounced with sh and j sound. Drag and drop them into their respective boxes. So this is an activity. Click here. submit uh, button so to verify to your the answers. Words that are pronounced with sh and j. So these are the options that are given here. So you have to drag and drop the particular sounds here. So like this we have to drag and drop them into their boxes. So after that we have to click submit button to verify our answers. So these are the correct. So like this we'll be having an activity based on the sounds here. So now let us go to disyllabic words. So far, we have gone through various monosyllabic words. Now, let us go through disyllabic words, that is, words with two syllables. Depending upon word, the stress might be on first syllable or on the last syllable. Abbey, two syllable word. A, B. The stress is on A. Say, Abbey. Abbey. The stress syllable is more prominent. Say, Abbey. Absence, two syllables again. Ab, since. The stress is on first syllable. Absence. Absence. 
absorb two syllables again absorb absorb the stress is on second syllable absorb and say absorb absorb the stress is on second syllable absorb absorb abuse abuse two syllables a uh. now this sound a uh, is a very feeble sound phonetically we call it schwa sound it is a very low a uh, sound and whenever you have this low sound or schwa the stress is not given on the sound because the moment you stress a uh, it becomes another vowel a uh. hence it is abuse the stress is on bus say abuse so like this will be having a number of words in the disyllabic words accent so these are the words that are covered under this section so this is about the a2 section now let us move on to the b1 so these are the units that are covered under the b1 so as i said earlier here we are having consonant sounds so another uh, some of the other consonant sounds that are covered uh, under this section so now let us see first the consonant sounds here voiceless consonant h and voiced consonant y h as in hello behind y as in your beyond yesterday sound h in the beginning of the word as in he how whose whom here happen whole how in the middle of the word as in ahead behind behave anyhow inhale inherit let's practice her sound with few sentences how may i help you what happened how have you been Do you have a home phone number? Who is speaking? Is it Henry or Harry? Helen had hot dogs and hamburgers. Voiced consonant y, y in the beginning of the word as in yes, you, use, your, yet, your, yesterday. Y in the middle of the word, as in onion, lawyer, beyond, values, amuse, beautiful, news. Now let us read aloud and compare sounds h and y. Hello, yellow. Who, you. Here. year hung young hell so like yell. this will be having uh, Let us some other words in this section and practice uh, like we are having in the uh, a to section so another type uh, uh, some of some of the other words that are covered under the c1 section as part 3 So now let us see our uh, trisyllabic words. We have so far gone through monosyllabic and disyllabic words. Now let us go through trisyllabic words. That is words with three syllables. and as said 
stress will depend upon the syllable. Now it can be on first syllable or second syllable or the last syllable. Let us start with the word abandon. It has three syllables. First syllable is a, uh, which is a low feeble sound, shua sound. Ban, second syllable, and dun, last syllable. The stress is on second syllable. The stress is on second syllable. Ban, abandon. Abolish, abolish, a, ba, ish. I repeat, a, ba, ish. The stress is on second syllable, ball. Abolish, abolish. So like this, we will be Absolute. having our trisyllabic words under this section. Absolute. So this is about the section B1. So now let us move on to section B2. So here we will have two units that is oval sounds that is pure oils and the quadrisyllabic words. So first let us see about the oil sounds here. So far, we have learned various consonant sounds. Now, let us move on to vowel sounds. As mentioned earlier, vowels are divided into pure vowels and diphthongs. Let us start with pure vowel sounds. And the first vowel that we would learn is sound I. I as in king. It's a short I sound. I. I at the beginning of the word as in in, if, it, is, ill. I in the middle of the word as in pin, lift, give, miss. Listen. Let us go through few more words as in gym, symbol, system, rhythm, syrup, build, guitar, guilt, bin, busy. Practice a sound with sentences. What is this? Bill went up the hill and fell ill. My little sister is sitting still. One of the fascinating features of the English language is the way the same letter produces a different sound in different words. Let us start with the vowel sound A. Kit bit sit here the words so like kit this, you'll be bit a and of sit the represent the symbol. sound of a it is the short sound vowel and unrounded the, the position of the tongue is front and the mouth is nearly close After trisyllabic, let us go through few four syllabic words. To start with, ability, ability, a, bill, a, t. The stress is on second syllable, bill, ability, accommodate. Accommodate. 
So like uh, this, you'll be having a number of words uh, under the quadrisyllabic words. The stress is on second syllable. Calm. So this is about the accommodate. B two section. Now let us move on to C one. Accompany. Accompany. So here we'll be having two units. That is diphthongs and pentasyllabic words. First, let us say about diphthongs. So far, we have learned pronouncing pure vowel sounds. Now it's time to move on to learn diphthongs, and the first diphthong is a a as in eight a at the beginning of the word as in eight age a ache a in the middle of the word as in same rain late. Lake date a at the end of so the like word this, you'll as be in having way say obey may today so based on diphthongs so not only add also. clarity to the sound but they also add so let us style. Let us go through a few more words and practice. After four syllabic words, it's now time to know five syllabic words. Accommodation, accommodation, a ka mo desh n. The stress is on desh, fourth syllable. Desh, accommodation, accommodation. Administration, administration, ad, min, is, trash, n. Stress is again on fourth syllable, stress, administration. Anniversary. So, like this, you'll be having a number of pentasyllabic words under An this section. Ne so, this is about the C1. Sir now, let us re. move on to the section. The stress C2. is on third syllable. Ver anniversary. So here we'll be having C2. This number of anniversary. That C2 section here, and this is the first one is pronouncing sounds. First, let us see that unit. Now let us understand how to pronounce past tense verbs, verbs where word endings are with ed. And how should we pronounce this ed? The ending ed will always sound like sound t when the last sound in the present tense verb is voiceless. Let us go through a few examples. Present tense verb fix. The past tense verb will be fixed. Assess, assessed. Cash, cashed. Check, checked. Develop, developed. Finish, finished. Wash, washed. Replace, replaced. Press, Pressed, stop, stopped, laugh, laughed. The ending ed of the past. Put the correct option that ends with z sound for each word. Hope so far you have enjoyed the journey of sounds. But this is not enough to get the right accent. 
accent and specially English accent is incomplete without voice modulation because English is supposed to be the language of expressions. A well modulated voice is melodious. A dull voice is not interesting because it is lacking in variety and we all know that variety is the spice of life. What is modulation? Modulation is the rise and fall of our voice. When we are asking a question, the pitch goes up, whereas when making a statement, the pitch goes down. Also, we can express a wide range of emotions with change in pitch. For example, our pitch should be higher when we are happy, excited or surprised and lower when sad or afraid. Remember, it's not so much about what you say, but how you say. What exactly are the mechanics of modulation? Stress and pitch are two sides of one coin modulation. What changes when you put stress on a word? There are three ways to stress a word. The first way is to just get louder or raise the volume. This is not a very sophisticated way of doing it, but it would definitely command attention. The second way is to stretch the word out or lengthen the word that you want to draw attention to, which sounds very insinuating. The third way, which is most refined, is to change the pitch or tone. Remember four P's of voice modulation. To sound interesting while talking to your customers or your colleagues or peers, just remember the four P's. First one is pitch. By practicing to vary your pitch, we will have a beautifully modulated voice. People don't want to talk to a robot. They want an emotional, understanding, friendly, human touch to their conversation. The second is pace. Most of the time, a moderate pace is required, not too fast or slow, but sometimes we need to change the speed of our delivery to add variety, dramatic effects of lowering our voice and also of using the full range form a memorable impact. When we use a slow delivery with a low soft voice, still audible, it captures the audience attention. Pause. Pause is a brief moment during which the speaker is silent. Sentences should be divided through the use of pauses. Pauses help our mind to absorb information easily. We can also use a pause to emphasize meaning or give importance. Pleasant. Our tone of voice must always be pleasant when dealing with people. No matter how irate the person might become, we must always maintain a pleasant tone of voice, never angry, sarcastic or moody. What is a pause? Pause is a brief moment during which the speaker is silent. Sentence should be divided through the use of pauses. The speaker can use a pause to convey or emphasize meaning. For example, I finished my homework and watched TV. There is a correct pause. If I say I finished my homework and watch TV, and that's the wrong pause. Before going to MTI, let us know what is mother tongue. 
Mother tongue is one's native language which is learned by children and passed from one generation to another. One can communicate his or her ideas by means of sounds. English is a second language and it is a global language. Some people have a tendency of sounding v as b as in the words give, save, have, etc. and sh as sir as in the words trash, fish and shore because of incorrect movement of the tongue or the lips. Let us go through few words with six syllables. Thermophosphorescence Thermophosphorescence Thir Mo Phos Fur Res Ins Stresses on fifth syllable Res Thermophosphorescence Disproportionateness Disproportionateness Dis pra par shin it ness. The stress is on third syllable par disproportionateness disproportionateness.